cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Den of Discussion. This is our first episode. Uh, so definitely if you enjoy the video, leave a like in the uh, leave a like on the video, leave a comment in the description, let us know what you think. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the uncanny counter. So I hope you guys enjoy our discussion um, on this video. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so the episode started very crazy because <laughs> mm -hmm. it's it's um I guess the main character you can say in in the car with his family as a child and there's like a really cute just like a really cute scene of um I guess mom and dad are like super busy so they don't have time for him and they're you know he's he's like oh well, I'm drawing a, a picture and it's and it doesn't include you guys and then mom and dad is like oh I want to be included can you can I please be included please 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 I was like oh this is so cute this is so awesome and then the accident happens <laughs> mm -hmm. like, Whoa. yeah I'm just like oh on the first like the first scene I'm like oh my gosh and then. Like, I thought it was an accident at first, like someone, you know, just a regular accident. Then a dude got out of the truck and approached the, the family and it's like, yeah, what the heck is going on here? Definitely. Did you, like, is that like exactly what you thought as well? <laughs> when, when yeah, you saw it? definitely. Yeah. It's like, it's, I don't know. So I wrote down, who's this? <laughs> who's this a-hole that intentionally hurt this family? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was like the first thing that came to my mind. I'm like, can we find this dude and can we get him? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so the kid survived. Um, and we like jump forward and he's like he's walking, but there's I'm like, how is he like you know, we just jump forward, but he's walking. I guess he has surgery on his leg, so now he's able to walk, but there's like a I think like a metal plate, a metal something that's like in his leg. Yeah. To I think where he's so. like hopping off. Um mm -hmm. but they show a scene where he never finished drawing the the picture of mom and dad. Oh yeah. Remember that? It had, it still had, <laughs> yeah. It still had like the blood on it and everything. Right. That was, I'm like, uh, oh, that's terrible. He didn't even get to finish the drawing. Yeah, it was really wow. sad. It kind of reminded me of this uh, this other Korean drama. It's on Viki. It's called uh, The Tale of the Nine Tail. Mm. And it also started like that. Just like, like um, really dark. Yeah, the main character and her parents as well got into a car crash with her in it. So it was pretty, pretty crazy. That's, that's like a weird thing with Korean dramas, isn't it? <laughs> like car crashes. Yeah. It's yeah. used so often, but I think like this one really, like it sat with me because that's like the first thing you saw. Mm -hmm. Like usually when we're talking like car crashes about someone like losing their, their parents in like a car crash, it's like we're going back to what happened in the past rather than starting right from there. Yeah. So I think this one, this one, it, it um, it affected me a, a little differently. Plus, he was such a cute kid. I'm like, why mm -hmm. would you do that? <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to happen. I this is supposed to happen. It's how you build character. Yeah, but still. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. So I'm I'm looking forward to in the later episodes. Hopefully we'll find out who who that who that that jerk. Cause I, I don't I don't want to curse. I don't want to say anything bad. Who that butthole is mm -hmm. um that that hurt their family but i like the scene with with him interacting with his grandma i was like I, I don't do you think that well it seemed it seems like she she's had some type of uh mental health issue that yeah she's been dealing with um, mm -hmm. so I guess, you know, it, it makes, it affects in certain type, type of situations. Like when I guess he, was he bathing her? Uh, I think he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just like, 
a weird dynamic. I was like, well, what's going on here? Mm-hmm. But they seem so close. Yeah. And like the back and forth was, was really, really nice. So like seeing that and then seeing him like hop off with like the crutches, I was mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh. So the accident really did affect him. Yeah. Like in, mm-hmm. a, in a bad way. Oh my mm-hmm. God, it's just terrible. What about his um grandfather? He, well, at this point, I didn't really, like, he seems like a really, like, just based on that that particular scene, he seemed like a really cool person. Just a really nice, good grandfather. They they seem to have, like, a really good relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, like, the first thing I thought is these people seem, like, really cool. Yeah. But just just based off this scene, so I'm just more so like trying to get a sense of what's happened to him, you know, in these last years because it jumped from when he was a kid. Now he's he's like in high school, right? Um, yeah, I think it is high school. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot of stuff could have happened between then and now. So. One thought that came to my mind was when they were eating, and I'm just like, this is it's making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, they have some good food. So so I paused it and I went and got some food to eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I need I need something in my stomach. Cause yeah. like every every time I watch Korean dramas and they're eating really good looking food, it always makes me hungry. Yeah. And I always yeah. feel some type of way like it's like, I don't know. I feel left out <laughs> when, mm-hmm. I, when I see them eating. I'm not eating anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like that. I think it was um, the food they were they were making. The the family, like the mean family, that's like the Grim Reaper family. When they were cooking like like the food, and everybody was waiting in line, and people were eating. I was like, this is making me so hungry. Mm-hmm. They the dude, the dude was just like cutting it like really nice. And I'm like, come on, man, yeah. yo, like y'all don't know how much I love food <laughs> to be doing all of this stuff. Yeah. Um, so the young girl, like the girl in the family, what did you think of her initially? The girl. Yeah. So there was um, uh, there was the guy. The older guy, the older lady, and the young girl, um, the three that were running the restaurant. What did you think of the younger girl? Uh, hmm. Uh, well, I like her. I think she's cool. Um, I also think the uh, the guy is pretty cool, too. He seems a little scary, though. The Like and- the older one, right? Yeah. yeah. Like... <laughs> I I have um I wrote a note. Why does this guy seem so passive aggressive? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he just seems like like angry like all the time. Like I don't I don't know. Like especially with with the whole scene of of him like cutting cutting up the food and preparing the food. Mhm. Like I, I'm just like, what's what's up with you, man? What's, what's going yeah. on? Why are you so mad, man? Yeah, I don't know. Really Maybe there's um there's something that that they're gonna go into as to why he's he's that way. Hopefully, he warms up to to the the main character um mm-hmm. eventually. But just like, damn, this dude just just has a problem with everybody. He even has a problem when he's cutting food. He's just like, I don't like this food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, scary. I, so the, the, I think it was when he saw her for the first time, when they were leaving to go and catch oh, that level yeah. three dude. And yeah. I was just like, and he was like, whoa. And I'm just like, hold up, but your friend is pretty too. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. don't, don't, don't like, I, I don't know. That, that's like the first thing that came to my mind. I'm just like, they're obsessing over this new girl. And it's like, hold on, but it's this girl that was like right next to you is pretty too. Like, come on, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't, don't be like yeah. that. Um, but so they go after the level three guy um, and he jumped so over mad. the... Say that again? This made me so mad when yeah, I watched why? this. 
Because the uncle went ahead and did it by himself. He was yes. supposed to wait for it. Yes. Oh. That's the first thing that came to my mind is why, hold on, I said, damn, this family is insane, but why didn't this old guy listen? Exactly. Why, why don't people listen? Why are they simply running? I don't <laughs> they, they pulled up in a van and I'm just like, rather than taking the van to where the, the, the older guy is, they're running, but they're not doing like some kind of supernatural sprint. They're running like normal people. I'm just like, what? yeah. I was like, y'all, y'all know y'all can run a little faster than that. You know. Was- so like, like, like seeing him down, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And this then could have like, been avoided. Yeah, like the what do you call him? Like a demon of some kind. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess like, I mean, ghost. I guess you just ghost. ghost. Well. Evil spirit. That's evil spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Evil spirit. So when he was, you know, fighting the uncle, I was just like, this fight scene is a little long. Why aren't they here yet? Yes. And that irritated me. Right. So, like, I, well, he could have, I feel like the uncle, he could have stalled time. Like he didn't have to actually fight him. He could have like ran around or something like that. But especially, like, especially when, and I don't mean to cut you off. Especially when he realized that this guy is no longer in like what did they say their zone or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. And now he has his full abilities, and he's not super weak anymore. It's like, why are you trying to fight? <laughs> Like at some point you have to say, you know what, rather than, and they did tell him to wait, do not approach him. Yeah. And he, they told he him. didn't listen. He and when he listen. realized that, hold up, I think, you know, like I, I, I probably, I probably can't handle this anymore. I should probably just stall him. I don't know, run, like figure out some yeah. way. Cause he's an older guy. Right, so there's a lot of wisdom there. Um, do you do you, do you watch Dragon Ball? I don't. Okay. So just just to because it it, it kind of ties into it. So um, Dragon Ball Super is like the latest incarnation of Dragon Ball, and so a lot of the main characters have like power that goes beyond like normal gods let's say right Mm -hmm. so you have like older characters like this guy master roshi who isn't as strong as all of these big guys who are just like godly but because he has he's older he has more of a understanding of martial arts he's able to use technique you know to overcome his his shortcomings so I'm looking mm-hmm. at this old dude. I'm just like, can't you like it's 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 a young guy. It seems to be a young guy. Whoever this this evil spirit is, can't you use wisdom as far as like if he throws a punch rather than like trying to block it? I don't like do some kind of crazy martial arts stuff. You know, just like yeah. push it to the side when he punches and let him fall over. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. but not getting physically active with him. But he just didn't do it. He just kept going for the punch. I'm just like, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to take him down. Yeah, like, and it's like you, you, you clearly know that you're out of. Um, and hold on, let me put this up. That you're out of your league, and there we go, perfect. That you know that you can't handle this guy. So why yeah. keep fighting? Why not just use, you know, tactics to just stall him till everybody shows up. But he kept fighting. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then he died. Yeah, that was really painful. I couldn't watch that scene. I actually had to skip. Yeah. So Yeah. <laughs> the, the, when, when he died, I I I got really angry mm-hmm. because I'm just like, can't can't it have just been hey? I don't know, but but I guess that's the impact of it, you know. Just, but couldn't it have just been like, um, 
I don't know. Like I, I, I thought that it would be something where he's like, okay, I can't do this anymore. Or that the spirit will, you know, say, okay, I need to find it. I don't know. Like, couldn't he have just like the spirit could have left his body and he could have just gone back to a regular old man, gone back mm-hmm. to, to his, his, I guess his granddaughter or whoever. Um, yeah. And just, just be a regular old man. Why did he have to die? Yeah. And then for the, like the spirit, like, I guess took his essence. I'm just like, dude, I'm... this is starting to irritate the hell out of me because like he opened his mm-hmm. mouth and then like, I guess the spirit from the, the, the dude, I guess his essence or his mm-hmm. life force or whatever it is, like yeah. went into the evil, evil, um, the evil spirit's mouth. And then the evil spirit is like, oh, I feel powerful. I'm just like, you're such an asshole. Yeah, I, I thought it was his soul. Right, right. I it was. So it's like I don't know. Like, oh, I didn't want him to die. <laughs> really, I yeah. just didn't want him to die. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, so he dies. Um, and the old lady, who I guess it was his partner, goes searching for another body. Right. And she's flying through people. No problem. No problem. Trying to find someone that I guess is un- unconscious. Yeah. Someone who's like on their deathbed because it's easier, I guess, to like reason with them. Um, and they have something to gain from working with them. So mm-hmm. she's trying to find somebody and she ends up in the main character's body and then she can't leave. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so yeah, he ends, ends up in the main character's body. He like falls over. He's like, oh, I was struck by lightning. It's like, okay. And they just go about the day normally. Then suddenly like, no, before that, his hair started to change. Yeah. I didn't notice that uh-huh. until they mentioned it. I'm just like, hold up. His hair was like normally just like straight, right? Yeah, and then it started getting like curly, and then it started moving up and all of that. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, so is that a thing? And then I saw the the family who are in the same situations, and their hair is like super curly, and it's like, I'm like okay, so I guess that's like a thing of being pos- possessed by a okay. grim reaper spirit thing. I guess so. I don't know. It's pretty cool because that's how you can tell, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the then the the, yeah. like the little dots on their fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's pretty uh, cool. Yeah. It's it's unique, but so, yeah, so I said, oh, his spirit person, uh, that, oh, the cute old lady. Yes, the cute old lady. I've seen her in a lot of dramas. Oh, I really? I love her. Yes. What dramas? I remember one drama. I don't remember the name, um, but it was like... A bunch of different girls living in a house, and they're like roommates. So all mm-hmm. the, 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 the I think that's like four girls, and they have different personalities. So you have one that's like a tomboy. You have one that's like overly girly. Just like one that's um ah uh, I, I forgot. But so they're basically living in the in in this house, and the old lady is the person who owns the house. So that specific lady. So she's like, you know, just like she's really sweet, just really cute. I love her. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's that old lady. I remember her. I don't remember her name, but oh uh, mm-hmm. yeah, she she's a great actress. Just like mm-hmm. really great. Um and okay, yeah. So the dudes in the library when his friend was getting bullied. Mm-hmm. And he stepped in. I was hoping that right then and there that he would just, I don't know, do something crazy. But then he cowered. Yeah. And then I started to get mad. Are you talking about the friend or <laughs> the the no the, the main character when his friend was okay. getting bullied. Okay. He just yeah. you know he just he got super emotional rather than. Like, I thought he was going to do some kind of supernatural, like, I don't know, like, kick him and be like, oh, snap. I didn't mm-hmm. think that would happen. And then, like, the dude got kicked, I don't know, like, super far into, like, the bookcases and stuff like that. But it's okay. 
Yeah, but here's That's my right. thing. They're in a whole library, and this is happening. Where right. are the teachers? Right. <laughs> right. And when a teacher finally showed up, he didn't do anything. He really didn't. I was like, seriously? See, and, and this th this is why, like, I don't know, like like bullying in, in, in I, I don't know if it's like a Korean culture thing or if it's just from dramas, mm -hmm. but it seems to be like a Korean culture thing because I've talked to a lot of friends who are like, yeah, it, it gets bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, why, why, why not do, like, I don't know. And, and then he's like, oh, you know, but I guess it's because his favoritism with the main a-hole, the main jerk, dude, mm -hmm. I guess his, his, his dad is like famous or something like important or has some type of influence in the school. So he's something he can just get away with doing stuff like that. And it'll just be like, don't do it again. Come on, mm -hmm. be better. And they don't really yeah. do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Just like th these, these guys are beating up this, this beating up someone else's child. And that's all you're going to say. Oh, uh, so yeah. So, they threaten him um, and said, the next time we meet or, you know, I'll, I'll see you later or something like that. And I'm just like, oh, no, now they're going to beat up on their, on their cripple kid. Yeah. Like, no no shame, no honor <laughs> in any of it. I'm just going to bully this cripple kid. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that that's where he, he was walking down the alleyway and he encountered them. And I was like, okay, so this is going to be that scene when he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to throw a punch and the punch is going to hit him really hard and it's going to be great. But then he cow he cowers. He's just like, he's like, oh, yeah. I'm like. Well, he doesn't know yet. I know, you know. but still. <laughs> yeah. Still, I, but I guess that that's the importance of training. Like just because you have the power doesn't mean you know how to use it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the the young girl from the family came into play. I, I really should like note down like their names. <laughs> like mm -hmm. I should just like note down the names and be like. I think it was Hana or. Something like Hana, that. Hana something like that. But yeah, she, she comes and she comes and she beats them up. Yeah. And I was, was so happy. Team. I was like, yo. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. Like. Okay, okay. Like before, when they said, "Oh, she's really pretty," or "She's really cute," I yeah. wasn't. I was like, "Oh, but the, your friend is over here." But when I saw that scene, I was like, "Okay, she wins." Yeah, she's not just a pretty thing. <laughs> right. I was like, "Yo, this is a type of female, like, um, like strong female, like, mm -hmm. just like she's not." overly violent she's pro just just she's just really awesome yes. it comes across as a really awesome awesome person i was just like okay you win you win mm -hmm. you're 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 amazing thank mm -hmm. you so much um yeah so at that at that moment i'm like okay i'm i'm cool <laughs> we cool yeah. Yeah. did you like is that like your exact sentiments when you saw that? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's pretty solid and she she doesn't show off. No. Like she doesn't come off as somebody who's like arrogant like right. oh, I'm stronger than you. She's more right. like you know, she'll use it if she has to, but she won't right. really which do is it all why that. I'm like this is the type of female like empowered female character that i can get behind because she's not like the entire scene she didn't just come in and say i'm gonna start hitting people she didn't do anything bad until they started coming after her mm -hmm. until they started doing things at, you know so i'm just like yeah beat them up thank you yeah. so very much mm -hmm. you're amazing so she comes in and she, you know, she knows who he is based on, um, like the lady spirit that went in his body. Um, the older dude, like that old dude, that's always like the villain in those dramas. 
Have Have you noticed that that like the guy that said like like explained what needs to happen and everything? Like, he went to the funeral and he like left like I think like one million um or one either one million or one billion um one mm-hmm. to the I guess to the family of of the older guy that died. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, have you noticed he's always like the villains? Like he's always yeah. like the villain in the dramas. Yeah. I was like, oh no. When when I first saw him, I was like, oh no, it's this guy. <laughs> he's yeah. he's about to, he's about to be a villain again. I'm just like Yeah. That's like my first face. instance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um when he wasn't, I was like, oh that's different. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm I'm just used to used to him being like the villain and everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, so they found him. She she brought him over um, to the family, and they're going over everything. And and the dude, the older dude in the family, is just like passive aggressive. Yeah. He's just like staring like a hole through his face. Like yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> just like, and he doesn't notice at all because he's such like a like a nice person. He doesn't notice anything. He doesn't notice any of it. And it's just like, but I'm just like, why are you staring a hole? Like, you don't like him. You don't even know him. Right. He's just like, I don't like you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, let me see. Yeah, so they brought him over. And he goes to, like, the spirit world to meet the old lady. Yeah. And... The old lady just shows him um, what exactly they do, um, that they essentially are there to stop evil spirits because these evil spirits get into people's bodies and then uh, try to manipulate them into doing worse and worse and worse things until they kill somebody. And then once they kill somebody, the evil spirit gains control of their body. Mm -hmm. Right? So... What I thought was really cool is that when they were going through like that history encounter with the man taking the brick to hit the lady on the head, his instincts was to run in to try to stop it. Yeah. I thought I was really like a nice, nice sort of detail that just shows his character right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's just like, he's like, what's going on? Come on, come on. Give me that. Like, he's just fighting for the break. And he finds out, oh, well, you know, it's it already happened. Um, we're not actually in the real world. I'm just showing you something and why we yeah. have to do this job. Um, I think if she would not have said that he had the option to say no, I think he would have done it. What do you think about that? Mm. Like, he would have just from the beginning said, "I'm d- okay, let's do this. Mm. Maybe. Like, cause, cause I was a little taken aback when he said no. I mean, I guess he got afraid, you know, cause he does have his grandparents mm. that he has to look after. So that's kind of how I saw it when he said mm. no. Uh, yeah, like eventually, like I, I, I understood that that aspect eventually, but I was like. Let's say for for the sake of storytelling, a lot of people don't do that. Like, if if we're talking, let's say of like a superpower, and mm. the main character is offered this superpower, usually the main character is gonna be like, yes, and then he becomes you know that's like the first episode. But no, he said no in the beginning. Mm. So I was. I was a little taken aback because like when I, when I'm watching these dramas, I've watched so many that it gets to the point where you start to see where the story's going to go. Yeah. So when it doesn't go that way, it's like, Whoa, <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that, that's where I, I, I came from, from, from that, uh, from that aspect. Um, so he says, no, he goes back to the real world and he tells them, no. And the first thing that comes to his mind is, don't worry, I'm not going to tell anybody. They're not thinking mm. about 
him telling like or exposing their secret, they're thinking about how could you say no? Yeah. And then they justify it by saying, oh, well, you know what? He wasn't in a life and death situation. Normally, Mm -hmm. uh, we approach people who are in life and death situations. So they're like, either either we help, either we, we come together and we work together or you die kind of thing. So he has nothing to gain from Mm -hmm. putting, you know, like you said, his, his grandparents in danger, his friends in danger, all of that stuff. So I understood that. Um, But as he walks outside, oh, one important thing, (laughs) one thing I really loved is that he said uh, to the passive aggressive guy, so when do you guys open us? He said something like that about because he wants her to come back and eat the food. He's like, I'm really looking forward to eating some of that food. Yeah. And the passive yeah. guy, the passive aggressive guy is just like, he's just angry still. He's like, like, how do I respond to this? Like, I'm 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 being really, really angry at this dude. And mm-hmm. he's just being so overly friendly. Yeah. You know, it's like he doesn't know how to handle. It. He's like, what? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so he goes outside and um he gets a call from the douchebags from the alley that got beat up by the girl, and they're legitimately hurting his friend. Like, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, hold up. What what rating is this drama? Yeah, <laughs> because was- he looked <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was like, dude, you have to. Like at this point, you have to say, hey, like, I'll join. I need you guys to come with me. Let's go beat up some douchebags. Mm-hmm. And you know, just be like a really nice end to the episode. Yeah. But he doesn't. I wasn't expecting that either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he just like puts the phone down and starts running off. Yeah. Trying to go by himself. I'm like, what can you do? Like, what are you going to be able to do? Like, you, you don't want the training to know how to use the powers, any of that. So what can mm-hmm. you do other than just go and get beat up? Right. So he goes uh, to the gym and he's confronting them. He's like, okay, well, you know what? You want me? Take me. Leave him alone. And they start acting up. I think they were pushing him around. Um, all that fun stuff. Well, it wasn't fun, but mm-hmm. they're just really bullying him. Um, and then the dude like just started saying stuff to make him just get angrier and angrier and angrier. It reminded me. I know you don't watch Dragon Ball, but it reminded me of the scene between Perfect Cell and Team Gohan, where Cell kept pushing him and pushing him and pushing him and pushing him, and pushing him until his power just explode. And mm-hmm. the dude went for the punch, and he grabbed it. I was like, yo! I was like, yo! I wrote, finally time to F up these assholes. <laughs> mm-hmm. What did he think of that scene? That was a good scene. Yeah, it was pretty powerful, too, because um, you knew it was coming, so you kind of built yourself up for it. So when it did happen, you were like, yeah. Yeah. He got they, fight now. They, it's like they purposely gave us like many like instances where he could have blown up and used the power. And they were like, yeah. oh, it could happen here, but I'm going to take it from you. Yeah. It could happen here, but I'm going to take it from you. It's like the third yeah. time the charm is like, now you know it's going to happen because <laughs> it's the end of the episode. Like he's by himself. There's yeah. no, nobody knows where he is because he didn't tell any of them anything. So that girl's not going to come to the rescue. And then he grabs the down the punch. I'm just like, yo. And then the episode ended. <laughs> and I was like, no. I was like, no, come on. Don't make me wait. <laughs> so I was like really itching to watch the next episode. I didn't. I mm-hmm. didn't. Because I knew we were gonna re- we want to talk about this. And I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself and get confused or anything like that so i was just like man how do i i think i watched it at night and i was like how do i go to bed now 
It's like because I had all this like excitement for the next episode. I'm like, yeah. I'm tempted yeah. to just watch the next one. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so that was it. Was really cool. Like for an opening episode, it was really cool. Um, if you could, like, out of all of the dramas you've seen, if you could rate, like, everything like one to ten from the first episode, what what would you rate it? And what would be like your overall, um, like, yeah? What would you rate it? Episode one. Yeah. Just based on what we talked about, because I I know you've seen like up to like episode eight, right? Yeah. 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 So if you just based on, because yeah, based on what we've talked about, um, for episode one, what would you rate it out of like all of the dramas you've seen? Mm. okay well for episode one yeah just like uh, the start of a drama like the first episode yeah. out of any dramas that you've seen like the first episode like did this was did this like really hook you um, um did it really get you excited well i mean the concept is different i like the concept mm. um but the way it started it was kind of like other k dramas that i've watched but really? it is different in okay. its own way because of the, the I guess, the magic system. I don't know if it's magic, but, like, the power system, how things work mm. is a little different. So I like that. But, um, I mean, I don't, you know, it's different. It's unique uh, besides other Korean dramas that are supernatural and uh have like magic systems Mm -hmm. this one actually has consequences it's not like um over the top limited yeah 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 Yeah. so i like that about it but um other than that yeah what about you i i i'm at a place and and we've we've talked about this where when it comes to dramas i get bored of the same old yep and this is not anything like that mm-hmm. so as you like you were talking about like the magic system or the, the system of like the supernatural aspect of it it's so like it's it's based in a little bit of reality like it's believable yeah you know yeah. like they they have this ability because they're working with um, some type of agent whose whose job is to keep a balance in the world mm-hmm. with these evil spirits coming in. Yeah. But that doesn't give them superpowers that makes them invulnerable to these evil spirits. Mm-hmm. So they can still make mistakes. It's like it's like if Superman was Batman or Superman and Batman came together in the sense of you have these great powers but it doesn't make you invincible to where only a certain type of situations can mm-hmm. harm you, you know? So it's really good. The characters are very diverse. I like the, like the, the strong female aspect with the young girl. It's yes. just like really dope. She, she's, she's awesome. I wish, I wish that was more, cases of like strong empowered female characters like yeah. her yeah just she's her own person she seems to know who she is mm-hmm. and she seems to have i want to call it wisdom because while everybody couldn't understand why he wouldn't take it she was the one that came up and said well you don't really have anything to gain so i understand Mm-hmm. You know, like so well put together. Yeah, I I am so looking for. Actually, in fact, I might watch the next episode legitimately after we get off this, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna have to wait and wait another week before I can watch the third yeah. episode. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But yeah, I I I loved it. It's very different. Um. Yeah, love mm-hmm. it. Are you going to read the webtoon? There's a webtoon that is based off? No, I can't. 
No. If I do, if I do, I feel like it's going to it's going to spoil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I well, might. I mean, what I might do is once I'm done with the drama, mm-hmm. then I'll go ahead and, and like check the webtoon out, because I know that'll be like usually with those type of things. It's, like, it's the same thing with like uh, the manga versus the anime, uh, in that yeah. sense, that mm-hmm. certain things are different. You know, but I don't want to like spoil like the visual aspect of watching the drama. Yeah, by getting mm-hmm. into the into the the webtoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that that pretty much covers it. Um, so we can pretty much wrap it up. Anything else you want to say before before we wrap up? Um, no, that was everything. Okay, cool. All right, so. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the conversation. There's going to be more of it coming. Um, Don't start recommending any dramas right now (laughs) because we have a list that we want to go through. Well, I guess guess they can, right? They they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can add it to the list. Sure, let's let's do that. So if there's any dramas you guys want to see us eventually get to, leave it in the comment below. Um, any you know input, any thoughts that you guys thought about the first episode of the drama, go ahead and do so. If you've never seen it before, it is on Netflix. Um, watch it. If you've never seen it before, before you leave a comment. And then let us know what you think. Cool. All right, so I'll see you guys on the next episode. We're going to be doing this kind of uh, weekly. Um, so subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.